Rosh Hashanah Daf Yudalit, how's everybody doing? When it comes to the miser of a tree and a vegetable, which are only miser mid Rabbanon, we learn it from the Pasuk of Gorim Biyake. The grain and the grapes, according to Rabbi Yosei it has to be something like Gorim Biyake that grows on the water of the previous year. The previous year gives it the third of growth. And that's why the miser goes from the previous year. That's the cutoff when it's at a third. And according to Rabbi Kiva, we learn from Gorim Biyakev, just like Gorim Biyakev, they only grow on rainwater. You don't need to irrigate it. So too, vegetables that you must irrigate are not like Gorim Biyakev. What's the difference between Rabbi Yisak and Rabbi Kiva? Only two vegetables. One is called Batzom Saris. It's a very small onion. And Pula Mitri, this is the Egyptian bean that we discussed the other day. But this is slightly different. It's the same bean, but he had in mind an intent when he planted it that he wants to eat the outside, not the bean inside. If you plant it for the seed inside, then it becomes kidneyous. But if you plant it for the outside, then it's a vegetable. And what happened was, in this particular case, he didn't give it water for 30 days before Rosh Hashanah. And that's the norm for only these two vegetables. Because these two vegetables, you want to harden them by not giving them water. So, according to Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, then it's considered one Pshan and Rashi. It's considered that it grew in the previous year. Another Pshan and Rashi is that according to Rabbi Kiva, because you didn't give it water, and you didn't irrigate it, then it turns into like a field, Not it's a bow. In other words, it's like grain. It's just like grain, just survives off of rainwater, this also, and therefore, it doesn't have the halachas of a typical vegetable. If you did the same thing, you prevented, you didn't give water to other vegetables, but like that, there's a kalad, and isn't that the way to do it, and therefore, it doesn't do anything. Shvat is Rosh Hashanah for trees. Why? Because most of the rain that gives the tree the sap in order for the fruit to emerge occurs by Shvat. Tu Bishvat. Now, even though from Tu Bishvat all the way to the end of Kufas Tevis, there's more on the other side. In other words, you didn't get through most of the Kufas Tevis. Nevertheless, we go by most of the rain. The Gemara tells us a story there with Kiva. He get, he picked a bunch of Estroigim on the first day of Shvat. And he did the two Maisers. Maiser Shani for the second year in the Shemitah cycle and Maiser Ani for the third year. Why? Because Wamshad is, he goes according to Likita, that when it comes to an esrig, we base it on when you pick the esrig. And he had a suffolk. Do we, did Basil say that the Roshana for trees is the first day of Shvat, or did Basil say two Bishvat? And even according to the Mandu Omer, that says that as you go by Likita, the Roshana for the esrig is still in Shvat. Now, by the way, Rashi points out here that there was a bas call that said that the Allah is like Basil. So we're talking about after the Baskal of Basila, that Allah was like Basil, before the Baskal, you could go either or, you could pick or choose, you could go like Beishame, take their Kulas and their Chumras, you could go with Basil, take their Kulas and the Chumras, but you cannot take the Kula of one and the Chumra of the other if it's a contradiction. You should see Rashi what that means. Now, when we say Shvat, it's like what we understand Shvat. It's the Shvat based on the lunar cycle, not the Shvat based on the solar system, on the solar cycle. And in addition to that, if it's a leap year and there's an extra month, so you would say perhaps Shvat is a little earlier in the season and doesn't really go well with the trees. Maybe the Rosh Hashanah should be in other a little later. No, we go by most of the years and we go by Shvat. Rabbi Yaisi Bermuda says, no, the story was, the Rabbi Kiva had a different topic. He was misubic. If when it comes to the Maiser of Esri, do we base it on the Kita like Rimim Lil, based on when you pick the Esri, or Hanata when the Esri emerges like Rabbi Eliezer? And what happened over here was that this, these particular Esrigim, they emerged before Tubishvat the, in a year beforehand. And you're asking me about why Echa Bishvat, that was a story. That's exactly the day that it happened. Well, according to Ravina, the story of Rebbe Kiba actually happened on Tu Bishvat. Have a wonderful day.